guys enjoyed the last episode of Lockdown with Dawood, so I'm here again for episode two. If you guys also enjoy this one, go ahead and let me know down below in the comments. I will continue to make this for as long as, well, the coronavirus is in season, if you will. I had a million of you guys ask me if I'm gonna make another one of these episodes. And by a million, I mean divided by a million because there is only one person who asked me if I'm gonna make another episode. But here I am, here's the other episode, you got it. So for today's episode, I went through Twitter to see what was trending and what the people were talking about. There's a hashtag called what I am learning in quarantine. And I came across simply Megan's post where she said, teachers are not paid enough, God bless you. If you guys don't know, all the formats for school and work, well, majority of formats for work have been switched to online. If you want more about that, check out my previous episode. But for today, Megan is just thanking these teachers. You know, if you're a parent and you are having to homeschool your kid now, huh, good luck. It's not fun. I know I have like three kids of my own. There's so much work. Now this tweet reminded me of a video that my mother showed me at about 2 a.m. last night. It's about two minions that are, uh, just watch. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Again, the tweet hashtag is what I am learning in quarantine. You guys can go ahead and check it out for yourselves on Twitter. The next one is a tweet by Nikki. She says, I'm not very good at social distancing from the refrigerator. Look, I get you 100%. I cannot stay three feet away from a fridge at all throughout this entire time. As a matter of fact, I actually have a fridge right there holding some drinks that I have. One second. Sponsored by Dr. Pepper, go ahead and buy a can or a bottle from your local grocery store right now, or don't because we're in a lockdown. So order from Postmates or Uber Eats. Also sponsored by Postmates or Uber Eats. So go ahead and check it out now. Go, bye. Still laughing shared a photo that relates to me on another level. It says, I don't know who needs to hear this, but quarantine rules are airport rules. Have a drink at 9 a.m. if you want to. I'm not sure about that. Airport rules to me are remove your hats, shoes, belts, and jackets, laptops out of the bag, and in a separate bin, no liquids, bombs, beards, or the use of the phrase, Allahu Akbar. Welcome to the life of a Muslim. The Texas Attorney General said that gun stores are essential business and that we are keeping them open during the corona. <laughs> Thank God, right? Because the last thing I wanted during the zombie apocalypse was not to have access to the gun stores. <laughs> I can't be the only one thinking that coronavirus is a lead to zombie apocalypse, right? So on Twitter, it was another trend where people share things that they'll never take advantage of again. And I saw some specific posts that I would like to comment on. Jared Highbon said, grocery store employees. <laughs> yes, Jared, I'm totally gonna miss the awkward conversation about your groceries with the cashier checking you out. Just one pie today? <laughs> Not a joke for everyone, sorry. I don't even know why I said it. I had to, I had to. I know, I know exactly why I said it, I had to. <laughs> Poor Laura, I'm not even gonna try to say her last name. <clears throat> she said, I really miss my long romantic strolls through Target. Hey, no one said you can't take romantic strolls through Target. It's not like you were strolling with someone anyway. We all know you're at Target to window shop for men. <laughs> Unfortunately for ladies though, the last good looking guy that they saw at Target was a couple years ago. His name was Alex. Okay guys, that's all I have for episode two of Lockdown with Dawood. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and leave a positive comment down below. And if you didn't enjoy it, go ahead and hit that thumbs down button and tell me that I suck and that I'll never make it in life and that I should stutter for the rest of my life and that no one likes me. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.